We say there's information in the memory on our phones or in our DNA sequence, but is that just an idea we made up? Or is information something real, like electrons or squirrels? Like, look at these two boxes. Both have the same number of black squares, but this one is just noise, while this one contains information. But would an alien say the same thing? If information is real, it should exist no matter who's looking, right? Okay, so this next part is gonna sound like it's not related, but it is. Imagine a box full of air. Air is really just a bunch of particles flying around at different speeds, and if we add energy to the box, those particles start moving faster and the temperature goes up. One of the most fundamental laws of physics says you can't get energy out of the box unless you first add energy to it. But physics schmizics, let's put up a wall, and a little tiny tiny door, and a little <laughs> tiny tiny demon creature with a button that opens and closes the door. If this demon knows which particles are moving faster, it can open the door at just the right time to let them through. And over time, one side will get hotter and the other colder. And you can use that temperature difference to do cool stuff, like create electricity. Basically, that little demon lets you get energy out of the box for free, breaking the most fundamental laws of physics. Or does it? If information is really just in our minds, then yeah, this is totally impossible. But how does the demon keep track of the particles? He needs memory. It turns out that keeping his memory up to date with new information takes energy. In fact, it's the same amount of energy that you get out of the box. So he's not actually breaking the laws of physics. But what if instead of giving the demon energy to update his memory, we just give him new unused memory? He could use it to track the particles, open the door at the right time, and get energy out of the box. Does that mean we're getting energy for free? Well, no. We still have to feed the demon, just with memory instead of energy. This might all seem hypothetical, but physicists have actually made a very simple version of Maxwell's demon in the laboratory, and they used it to change the temperature of electrons using nothing but information. And that makes it seem like information isn't just something our stupid monkey brains made up. It's the thing that converts the random chaos of gas in a box into something useful. Kind of like how the information in DNA is the thing that makes a bunch of random molecules into a squirrel. Information is a catalyst that can bring order to chaos. If it's not real, then neither are we.